Hello. Here is a quick intro to the renewed racks in MuLab 10. Racks can now have any number of slots, and you can insert and delete slots, as needed. If not all rack slots are visible, you can scroll through them in the usual ways, using the scroll bar, or mouse wheel, or right-click and drag. In MuLab 10, you can change the height of the rack desk. Racks now have become standard mugs modular patches and can be edited from their modular view. There, you see the rack slot modules and the rack fader module. Having access to a rack's modular area can be handy for more complex side chaining or for plugins that have multiple inputs or outputs or if you want to customize a rack to any special needs. With MuLab 10, you now have full control over a rack's internal signal routing in a transparent and visual way. Racks still support the pre-post fader indicator and this will automatically change the internal connections accordingly. The new M10 racks now can also include a front panel, where you can add parameters and other things, like a spectrum analyzer, so you can have instant access to those controls. You can edit the rack panel by means of the mug's front panel editor. For technical reasons the panel editing is done in a separate window, not in the rack view itself. Adding a rack front panel is just an advanced option, and maybe you don't need it. In any case, you can save your favorite rack presets so they're easily available, for when the musical inspiration strikes. If a rack contains subracks, you can show these in a subrack desk. This can be handy to make submixes. A subrack desk can also be minimized. Or hidden. That's it for this quick tutorial about the new modular racks in MuLab 10. If you find yourself a bit overwhelmed by these new modular options for racks, don't worry, you can completely ignore them and keep using racks in the rack desk as before, while taking advantage of their extra flexibility, even without using their modular area.